And as a state commission, we have approved the prime crew consisting of Sergei Volkov, the commander, FE1, uh, Satoshi Furukawa, and FE2, Mike Fossum. And as backup crew, we have approved Ole Kononenko as commander, Andre Kuypers, FE1, and Dan Pettit, FE2. With that, uh, congratulations. We've been uh, talking to you a lot at the uh, preliminary stages of your uh, flight and uh, final phases of your training, and I have no doubt in my mind that you'll be able to perform all of the tasks that are part of your mission on your way to the station and on the station, and that's all I have. Respond to that? Yeah. So good luck, Godspeed, enjoy your expedition, and we want to hear all about it when you get back. Good afternoon. As for the flight program, on June 8th at 2.12 Moscow, uh, Moscow time, there will be a launch of the uh, Soyuz TMA 02M vehicle, carrying the crew of the ISS Increment 28 on its way to the International Space Station. Several minutes ago, the State Commission approved the prime and backup crew compositions. The prime crew consists of Sergei Volkov, Soyuz TMA commander, station flight engineer, Roscosmos, Russia, Satoshi Furukawa, Soyuz flight engineer, station flight engineer, JAXA, Japan. Michael Fossum, FE2 for the Soyuz TMA vehicle, Station Increment 28 uh, Flight Engineer, Increment tw 29 uh, Commander, NASA USA, Backup Crew, Oleg Kononenko, Andre Kuypers, and Donald Pettit, Soyuz TMA 02M, flight engineer, station flight engineer for ISS 28 and commander for 29. And this is Catherine, Ka uh, Katya Ikramova from uh, Krasnoyarsk. She's eight, and she's the winner of the uh, patch design for this increment. Dear crew members, she would like to say some words to you. Have a successful flight. Make sure everything goes well up there. We'll be looking forward to have you back here on Earth. Thank you, Katya. Thank you. You know, she's been very... This is our tradition as well. You know, the crew has a, a little bit of a gift for Katya. What they'll do is they'll uh, put their autographs on their crew picture and we'll make sure to give it to you, Katya. Good afternoon. I am Catherine's mother. I have this uh, icon that I would like to pass on to you. It's an embroidered icon that I would like to uh, uh, give to you so it saves you from all kinds of troubles. The question that's on all of our minds, I would like to address this question to Sergei, Michael, and Satoshi. Every one of you is carrying some uh, bits and pieces, some elements of your national science program with you. Would you like to... Uh, uh, kind of so the question is to all the crew talk uh, talk to us about your science program take uh, your national program some experiments what are they okay uh, on board the uh, jam Japanese experiment module uh, we are going to perform a plant experiment using cucumber На борту экспериментального японского модуля Джем мы планируем эксперимент с посадкой огурцов. 
the uh, using cucumber, the the investigator uh, concentrates on the uh, effect of specific protein, which is related to uh, auction, which is a plant hormone. И uh, мы uh, собираемся провести эксперимент с этим uh, огурцом uh, и исследовать воздействие протеина, который называется auction. And uh, by performing that experiment, uh, it would be beneficial for future uh, space plant colony. Проводя такие эксперименты, мы заглядываем в будущее и рассматриваем возможность посадки растений в космосе. We wish we were able to eat cucumber, but we are not allowed. I'm just kidding. Я шучу, нам бы хотелось их, конечно, съесть, но нам не разрешено. I'm looking forward to performing the experiment. Я с надеждой смотрю в будущее и думаю, что этот эксперимент закончится удачным. And one one more thing, the experiment, the uh, principal investigator of the experiment is from the area. He is from Tohoku University, which is an area that suffered a great deal from the, the big earthquake. И данный эксперимент uh, происходит из, uh, ари, uh, из uh, области в Японии, которая была подвержена сильному землетрясению. So we would like to do our best to dedicate to science by performing the experiment. И мы сделаем лучшее, что в наших силах и посвятим этот эксперимент науке. Спасибо. Right. For me, my favorite experiment is a combustion, a flame experiment. I really like this one because the crew does uh, personal interaction and can observe the, uh, the experiment in process. Мой эксперимент — это сжатие и вспышка. Мы будем изучать данные физические явления на борту. Все члены экипажа будут проводить какие-то эксперименты, но данная область — это моя ответственность. Спасибо. To kind of dovetail into what Satoshi was saying regarding his experiment, what I'd like to say is that it's always nice to have something on the station that's also a living thing. In this case, we have uh, uh, plants. Uh, we'll be growing tomatoes on the Russian segment in complement to the cucumbers being grown on, uh, on a Japanese module. All of this is intended to uh, provide fresh uh, produce to the crew members. So tomatoes, in my case, Satoshi said that, you know, it's not allowed to eat cucumbers. You know, well, I guess we're not, we're not supposed to eat those tomatoes, but who knows, maybe we'll be able to throw it together a little bit of a salad. How do you feel about being on station uh, with uh, STS-135 uh, Atlantis being the last spatial vehicle on board? How, how, would, how, do you feel, how do you feel about that? Because of chance, you know, we will be there for the last shuttle mission, and that is, you know, going to be an amazing time, the end of a 30-year program that has been hugely successful and very important for human spaceflight, and uh, we're proud to be part of that. Almost from the moment you and your crewmates arrive on the station, the vehicle traffic will be all-encompassing in the weeks leading up to and including that sh final shuttle flight. How do you plan to tackle the initial workload in preparation for STS-135 and the spacewalk that you and Ron Guerin will be performing during that final shuttle mission? We're going to have to hit the ground running, there's no doubt about that. There's not many weeks between the time when we arrive and, we, and the space shuttle Atlantis will arrive to begin a very busy time. So we have, uh, have a lot of preparation to do, and we're beginning that preparation now. I've had conferences this week with the EVA team, uh, with uh, Chris Ferguson, the Atlantis commander. Uh, two nights ago I spent an hour talking to uh, Ron on orbit about what's going on and, and the kind of preparations he's doing to get ready for us up there. So uh, we're excited about it. There is always a, 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 an adaptation time when we get there, but uh, we're going to hit the ground running, and we have to. And let's uh, bring this press conference to a closure. Let's uh, wish good luck to the crew. Let's thank them for the wonderful press conference, for great questions and excellent answers. Thank you. Now we'll take some pictures.
press agencies, but from regular folks and kids. Once again, thank you very much to the crew for the press conference for the wonderful answers. Have a great one.